uh, I assume. Yeah, actually, it, it was much more than a pilot because it was a, uh, started with a, a two-year contract, so from September 2020 to September 2022. And then we got okay. an extension because of the COVID. So it was the first six months extension. And now that she announced the vote uh, mid uh, Jan, we have an extension of the contract until end of August. So in the end, okay. it will be uh, almost three year uh, contract. And today, if you look at, at some figures, you can see that e-scooters, it's not a gadget. Shared e-scooters is not a gadget. It's really a real means of transportation for patients. We have more than 400,000 people using it every month. So it's not that small. It's quite a lot. No. We have uh, done uh, last year, uh, yeah, we did uh, more than 18 million rides uh, with a 60% growth versus the, the year before. Um, it's sustainable. It's profitable. It's useful for people. It's more and more uh, safe. Uh, so I think, yeah, it's, I think e-scooters, I found their place in the mobility solution uh, today. Are those trips that are done uh, by people who go to work, for example, people who take the metro and then the last mile, they might use an e-scooter or people to go who, who go for a lunch to restaurants during the working hour? Or is it done by students uh, just for fun? Or as you mentioned, it really has um, a key, uh, a key uh, goal uh, to use the e-scooter. So to either go to work, uh, or to go to, to dinner or something like that. Scooters, uh, shared scooters are more and more popular, meaning we have a lot of use cases. So it's difficult to, to uh, sum up to, with only one use case, but of course we have daily commutes. Uh, so people, people using it to go to work, to go to, uh, to uh, university. Uh, and just to give you a figure on that, I think the, the uh, average distance per, per trip is 2.8 kilometers in Paris. Uh, so it's, it's really huge actually. Uh, we have also a lot of people using it um, to move around the city from the train station to their office, etc. But also to go to go out for leisure, uh, to go to the bar, to go to restaurants, etc. Um, talking about the riders, 70% uh, of the people are below uh, 35 years old and 30% are students. Uh, we are around 30 to 40% women. Um, and we have more and more senior people using it. Uh, so that's, in the end, a much more popular service versus uh, at the beginning. Yeah, that, that's quite interesting that you were able to achieve so many rides um, in only a few years, right? Because that, that means that maybe there was a need for these uh, scooters before you arrived. And now you were able to build up uh, the, this usage. So I guess when there's a ban of e-scooters, that need for the short term distances of the two kilometers or whatever will need to be shifted somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, maybe public transports or what, what, do, what do you think? Yeah, actually the, the city hall uh, did a research uh, in spring 2022. Uh, and if you look at the figures of model shift, 30, 34% uh, will use uh, public transportation. So mostly uh, metro or, or bus. Um, then uh, 19 sorry, 19% will use either private cars, private uh, moped or taxi or ride hailing. And 12% uh, will use a bike, either private or shared. Okay. Uh, and I think last year, if, uh, since we are discussing bikes, uh, I think VLEP had around 44 million um, yeah. rides, I believe, uh, something exactly. like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that, that also, that's also a huge, huge number, right? Um, yeah, if you compare, do for, you think... sorry, 45 million rides for Velib and 18 million rides for uh, DOT, uh, Lime, and Tier. Yeah, exactly. So um, do you think there's still a uh, space for adding uh, free float e-bikes, for example? Are the Velib bikes e-bikes or just traditional bikes? You have both, actually. Actually, you have mechanical and e-bikes. And you have a, it's a, it's a docking system. So you have stations uh, all over the place in Paris. So you have to to go to a station to to lock your bike. Um, how do you see the progress of of um, the bike share, uh, the free floating bike share progressing? Uh, already having like a VLEP in the city, which is such a, a, a huge use, usage. Yeah, actually, they are reaching quite a cap. Uh, so I think it's important. If, if we want to make a soft mobility, 
more and more popular in Paris and more and more used. I think it's important to uh, not to, re to reduce one of the means of transportation, but to multiply the means of transportation. So that's why uh, shared scooters, shared e-bikes, uh, such as DOT, Lime, and Tear, can really uh, complement uh, the Velib uh, solution, uh, not just for Paris yep. intramuros, but also for the suburbs, for instance. Now, I would like to discuss um, some challenges that you might have encountered during this, uh, not really a pilot, but uh, your operations in Paris. Paris is a huge city. Um, obviously, the public transport is uh, widely used. The metro is, is heavily used, uh, well known. Um, but what about the, the vandalism? What about the, the early challenges that were in Paris, for example, when you, when you launched, uh, I guess, not everybody was happy uh, to see e-scooters because we see some, some issues uh, happening in Brussels, but also in Paris when it comes to parking of e-scooters, right? Uh, I think that is a main issue that maybe we should also discuss. Uh, is that an issue or a challenge that happened during the... It was, it was, a, it was a challenge at the beginning, but today, honestly, it's not a, a big challenge. Uh, so vandalism... At the beginning, so we calculate vandalism with the loss rate, what we call the loss rate. Uh, it was around between five to 10% at the beginning when we launched, uh, for instance, in Paris. And today uh, in Paris, but also the case in Brussels uh, or Lyon, for instance, it's below 1% uh, per month. Wow. I mean, the monthly uh, loss rate. So of course we still need to be careful on that, but it's not a big change today. And this is because of uh, one, the hardware, uh, being more and more robust. It's also because of our operations, uh, because now we need really to, oper to operate well. We are super reactive when there's a, an issue. And also the behavior of riders, because now it's really, uh, yeah. it's more and more integrated uh, in, in the city, meaning that with the, also the restricted parking, you don't have any more free floating. You have to, uh, you can't park where you want. You have to, uh, to park in a dedicated uh, parking slot. Also that shared scooters are much more uh, accepted by the general population. So less vandalism in the end. This actually shows that so you, you came from 10 or 5% to almost zero uh, in a short period of time. This shows actually the innovation of the industry and how you, you were able to pivot fast uh, and to change and to adapt to, um, to challenges in order to provide a better quality or a better service, right? Is there anything 